Okay, hi. Um, so far, we learned uh, now how to maintain the distribution rule uh, to capitalize the asset. Now, I'm going to show you on how to. Now, I'm going to show you on how to capitalize the asset. What you have um, uh, maintain the distribution rule for the asset under construction. To do that, go to AIBO. So here, this is my asset I'm capitalizing. So I do 0105-2020. 1052020 so after you maintain so i should say capitalizing instruction a a so you, you can maintain uh, the document type um, or the system will determine based on the, um, uh, uh, what you call the settlement profile. So what it is, I'm going to show you. So this is an asset, um, I should say, um, capitalize, fixed asset 1002. So click enter. So it's in the different physically so now you see what is this error so if you see this error the system is saying that allocation profile is not maintained so how do you know that and then uh, what allocation profile must be maintained so to do that you need to go to the configuration but this is a uh, this is not for the end users, but this is for the consultants or application consultants. They need to make sure that the allocation profile is set. So that is actually under asset accounting. So here, if you go to the backend SPRO, so you can see there's a asset under sorry asset accounting and transactions, and then capitalize asset under construction. So this is where you are going to maintain so here the step one is you need to go to the asset accounting step two is transaction and step three is capitalize asset under construction and then step four where you can check so if you have access yeah you are lucky to see this but what is this settlement profile so if you see the settlement profile can see quickly I show you here AI which is for asset under construction so when you go here this is uh, some settings is already maintained so this cannot be used other than uh, the fixed asset here this is a fixed asset so the allocation only will be here so there is nothing optional here so you cannot do any others let's say you the settlement allowed or not so let's say if you if you want to do to the asset under construction to different uh, settlement profile so it's not recommended uh, yeah i don't say it's not recommended it's case to case business yeah so in this case here the document type you can see so the defaultly the system can take from the settlement profile so now where to maintain this settlement profile how the system know that um, um, uh, I'm going to show you now so go back and then this is how they they, they do the settlement profile and uh, assign settlement profile to company code so I can double click here so you can see our company code is a two eight zero zero which don't have any settlement profile so I am going to maintain this. So here we maintain the settlement profile and click on save. Okay. So we maintain now. So now I go back to the this screen, press enter, enter. So maybe I need to re-execute the transaction. Execute. 
you see now the system is running it, yeah? So quite smart, huh? So when you run what the system show here is it's not posted. It's, it's a, a test run. The system showed here is uh, the how it is going to post. So this is where um, the system is showing um, the asset uh, and also the 15,000 CNY. This is a transaction type in the asset accounting and the posting date, document date and value date. So all these is system is showing. So after you checking this, if everything you think that uh, uh, is fine and you can also do a simulation mode, what kind of posting is a system is doing? So you can see here. So if you want to add a few more details like asset and asset value date assignment or business transaction, cost center, company code, debit credits and um, yeah so i add all these for checking so here you can see now so what's happening the system is able to do posting in the financial accounting saying that the transfer between the asset under construction to do the capitalizing so you can see here so this is how the asset will be capitalized once you run a real run so so far what you have done is a test run so once you do the real run the system is able to do the posting so i remove the test run and now execute press enter So you can see now the system is able to do the posting. So if you, if you see details here, as a transaction posting with the document here. So you can see the document number and this is the amount and this is the document header details and this is the asset where the receiver so now if you want to see the line items because you already done posting so you can see here so this is where the system is posted in different currencies when it converted from 15,000 to euro which is a, a different uh, currency reporting and here is USD and this is other depreciation areas where the system is posted so you can see here this is a posting transfer between one asset to another asset so where you can see these details so where you can see that by clicking on the line items here so when you click on the line item, you can see this information. So when you, I think, okay, so here, simulate, simulation mode, yes, you can see what is debited and what is credited. And uh, in the, in the, in the screen here. So this is how uh, the settlements will be done in the asset accounting. So now um, uh, I would like to show you uh, quickly on asset explorer. So now when you see the Asset Explorer, so you can see now. So this is actually take out entire amount on this date and capitalized. So now you will go to the 1002 asset. You can see there is a debit posting to this asset. So this is how you can do the capitalizing assets from one asset to the another asset. Uh, so it's not, uh, this is only for uh, asset under construction and regarding the assets, what is already depreciated and how to transfer that. Yes, um, I will uh, give another video on this. Thank you guys.